hello 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 so in today's session we are going to cover the one of the most important topic in any of the ivr application that is grammar now this grammar is used in our flows like in prompt and collect in the menus and this is what tells the ivr uh, to what to accept or not to accept from the user side or whatever the user input it okay so we are in the chapter called grammars uh, i am shuffling here and there based on the call flows we have but you can go through the od document developer guide it covers most of the thing so in the last chapter uh, we covered about the prompts right so we created the welcome prompt and it will have the initial part now what we are going to use is prompt and collect why i'm using prompt and collect because in the menu we don't support the voice so that's why i'm going with this option of prompt and collect so let's say we give the name as main menu okay so this is our main menu okay so we will go inside okay first again we have to create the prompt so let's say we create main menu okay so once we created the menu uh, we will use the audio phrase sets or phrases which we have already been created so let me double click over here okay so in the menu what we want right uh, so it should say how can have is done you can say so this is what we have okay you can say a log account or press one and this two and let's say for no input right we can use something like sorry i didn't get that you can say this one and let's create one more that is main menu no input is done we will do no match so sorry the input is not valid you can say you can say an account on log on press one okay so this is done quickly we will put all the things over here so over here the fresh set will be main menu and it's done we'll go over here and we will create one more create prompt main menu let's go retry finish uh, we will add phrases this is for uh no input right we are doing let's say and again we will create something called main menu retry no match something like that you can go with your own uh, uh what you say on standard of the naming convention okay so this is done now coming to the important part which is why we are here is the grammar now the requirement from our side is to create a grammar of uh, dtmf and voice both to be supported uh, one for account or log one for password reset similarly for dtmf and dtmf2 so let's first create the dtmf grammar which is quite easy uh so we can use static let's create the dtmf one we will create custom okay uh one row uh one column is sufficient how many rows we want let's say we will say six okay or let's say four okay so what we will name is uh, account let's expand this thing account unlock this is what user can say right and what happened account unlock okay and we will tag it uh, 
AC, something like that. Oh, we are creating DTMF grammar. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, so then in that case, uh, one will be okay, AC, and two will be password reset PR. Okay, that's you can give any uh, tags, uh, then we are not required. So delete column row, column row, row, delete row. So since DTMF can be only two, one for account unlock and two for password reset. So DTMF grammar is done. Uh, let's why. Let's rename it to main menu DTMF grammar. Okay. So this is done. Now let's create another grammar. So we required for the voice. So you can add as many of grammar you want. There is no restriction from this. So main. Sorry. Create a grammar file. You can give the name as main menu voice okay and we are creating for voice uh number of rows four again okay expand this thing okay uh, sorry everything has to be in small case account unlock okay and we will give the name as ac same as account let's say if you just say account that also belongs to this one uh, and user say unlock let's say that also account unlock and pass password reset okay so that was pr right uh, now we need more right uh, rows and one more row required i guess yeah so let's say if user say password uh, that will be PR and again reset if you just say only that also a PR okay so our grammar is ready one for voice one for DTMF uh, this again applicable for our uh, uh, inbuilt grammars that we have there's another grammar let's say if we, I want to add over here uh, and create a new okay i will show in the later uh, uh, sections also so let's say for i'm collecting phone number okay and let's say we have dtmf and instead of custom we can use built-in okay now what i can do is over here what we are collecting right it is a digits phone uh date time so we already know it's a phone number okay so we can select that if you want to select the numbers right or uh, let's say digits so you can specify minimum or maximum let, let's say our phone number is exactly of 10th length okay so it will allow you 10 digit to accept if say like, you are collecting an employee id which range from six to seven digit right so minimum length is six and seven so this way you can configure similarly for boolean right for yes user can press one or you can press two okay so that is again is there uh phone number date again if user say any date that is accepted time these are all inbuilt so you don't have to customize anything right so the inbuilt grammar is there which is already been provided by okay anyway so the we don't require that one right now it's required in the later phase so in the prompt and collect section first we created a mail prompt where no input no match is added uh, we created grammars we also created uh, retries options over here so we are going at pretty good shape over here why we have an error let's see why there is a error in the welcome i don't see any error Mm, let's go to the problem statement so uh, 
Ah, okay. So the error generating in the code auxiliary exists. Okay. So if you get that kind of a error, click on Java. Okay. And you will go to your, where is the source here? Over here. And since it is a welcome, right? So it must be inside of flow and welcome. That is the one facing issue, right? So now what you can do is right click. Okay, so we have to go back to speech. Right click, validate. And then close the project. And open the project, okay? Now you should be getting the project started with no error, right? Uh, this is the error just uh, since we have don't have any return statement, that's why we have. So that's how one of the troubleshooting you got if you face anything. So our code is error free, okay? Uh, if you have any questions or doubt, just put in the comment section. Uh, hopefully you find this uh, video useful as, well as, as always uh, like and comment. Thank you.